Hey, welcome back. It's Fadester. In today's Diary of Wimpy Kid news video, we're going to be talking about specifically about the fun brain version of Diary of Wimpy Kid and the Pip Diary of Wimpy Kid movie that is going to be completely animated. More on that in just a bit. Our first piece of news is going to be about the webcomic, or what is commonly referred to as the fun brain version, which is where Diary of Wimpy Kid essentially got its start from before being made into published book. As of writing this, the Wimpy Kid section for it on the fun brain site appears to be offline for at least 6 days or even longer. We don't know what exactly is happening and why is it offline or taken down for this long, so all we could do is wait and see if it does come back in the coming weeks or so. But for now, all we could do is speculate. Maybe they're just revamping that section for the webcomic, which makes sense since One Brain was made using the first version of HTML, and now just recently switching over to HTML5, which is like the new and improved version of it. But then if you look at other books featured on the site which are still accessible with no issue, Funbrain has acknowledged this in some way with the pages that they replaced for the webcomic, and Jeff has yet to give any statement as to what the hell is going on with the webcomic or Funbrain version of it. Something similar has actually happened to one of Jeff Keeney's properties, Poptropica, a game that you can easily play on your browser. The reason I brought this up is that before it made the switch from Flash to HTML5, it became a pay to play game so for example if you want to access islands like Wimpy Wonderland or Wimpy Boardwalk and several other more islands you had to pay for it first if you want to progress to the rest of the story on that island. Which is personally is kind of a dumb decision considering people can just easily watch it from YouTube and it kind of defeats the whole purpose of it. But my guess is that this has something to do with Disney buying out 20th Century Fox, who owns the rights for Diary of Wimpy Kid and might have removed it unceremoniously because of some weird copyright law or something. But like I said before, that's just my speculation on it, and who knows, this could have been farther from the truth from what I'm talking about. Moving on now to our second and biggest piece of news on Diary of Wimpy Kid. On September the 2nd, on Jeb Kinney's account on Twitter, he would post a teaser image for Diary of Wimpy Kid Movie 5, which is confirmed to us that it's going to be an animated film, not an animated series, like, like it was rumored before. So for those who don't remember, in May of 2020, in an interview with Boston Globe, Jeff Kinney revealed the origins of this project, saying that, quote, This project started off years ago, with the idea we created a holiday special for Fox. But the world of entertainment has completely transformed since then. A streaming platform seems ideal for Diary of Wimpy Kid, thus an upcoming animated Disney Plus original series based on the book series of the same name. So from the looks of things, this movie is going to be a retelling of the first book, because the cheese is one of the big focal points in that book and in this teaser image, so it kind of makes sense. According to replies Jeff has made over Twitter, it appears like he intended to do a retelling of the entire Diary of Wimpy Kid books up to book 15, if this one were to be successful, much like what the live action movies have done, and, and we see how popular they are now. But the CGI is what most people are concerned about this movie. The style that they're using for this movie seems similar to the 2015 Peanuts movie, and this should give us a good idea of what it would look like when fully animated. Since at any angle you look at the Diary of Wimpy Kid characters, they look very unnatural when not facing any angle other than the three-quarter angle that they're always facing in the books. But what caught my attention is seeing how they will handle the movie's writing. There is a strong possibility that it's going to be a one-to-one -one adaptation of the first book, unlike the live action films where they had to rearrange certain scenes from the books in order to fit a narrative of a movie. And it's set to be released on December 3 of 2021. On September 7th, it is also announced that the first Diary of Wimpy Kid book is getting re-released in correlation for the movie's release. And if you think the red book in this image is going to be the book's cover, it turns out it's going to be the blue image that you're seeing on screen right now is the actual cover. They weren't as intense or detailed as we saw in the teaser trailer and the images that we saw so far. Also, this would be the first time we're seeing Rao's design for this movie. With that said, personally, I'm still excited for this movie. It still looks very promising in my opinion, but it's up that they're going to make some changes to their designs before the movie's release to make it seem a lot more better. For our final piece of news for today's video, we have some update on Diary of Wimpy Kid Big Shot, 
with Jeff Kinney showing on Twitter what is presumably the final illustration we will see before the book's release in October. We might also get a 10 to 20 page preview for this book which is usually done for the digital version that is listed on Google Books. As of right now that hasn't happened yet. But that's pretty much all the news I have on Diary of Wimpy Kid for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or find it informative, leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. But with that said, this is Spadester signing out. See you all in the next video.